Okay, we're just chilling today. No filling. I wanted to go over something that was a little bit embarrassing for me to admit, but I think I finally understood what's going on with shorts. And if I can help anyone out, that's what I'm trying to do with this video. I had a video explode recently. It's still going crazy right now. I should have probably picked up on this sooner. Back in October, when I put this thing on for Halloween, I should have noticed more then. But it's honestly kind of difficult sometimes to see how your videos are tracking in a short little period. But I started picking up on comments and whatnot for the whole month. People associate me with Bob Ross. And obviously, the hair's a striking resemblance. <laughs> now that we're in November, I can tell so much more from what this thing's been doing now that more time has passed by. I almost wasn't even going to wear this thing anymore. I did my community poll. I was only going to wear it for the month of October, but I'm glad it won because I'm keeping the thing on. After my most recent video, it like absolutely clicked for me. This thing is a comment magnet. The video that I have that's taking off and just going nuts it had multiple comment magnets in it. The hair is one because you get the you get the Bob Ross association. Then I did a video right before that one where I was shooting a pumpkin and pumpkin bits went flying. They got stuck in my hair. I didn't even know they were in there. So people start to look at that and they have to leave a comment. Clean your hair. Get a haircut. His hair's nasty. Look at the snacks in there. This dude has tortilla chips in his hair. They can be kind of annoying, but they're funny at the same time. Some of them are really bad though. I disassociate myself from the character that I guess I'm now playing. I'm Bob Ross of Guns which is hilarious. <laughs> I think that's awesome. But it's getting people to interact. The more interactions, YouTube is just like, all right, keep going, keep going. Because you get that boost every video for the most part. You'll get like a thousand, a thousand views. You get a hundred views. Some of them, you don't even get any views. It just lets YouTube just do whatever YouTube's doing. It switches things up. But I've noticed consistently that a lot of my videos, not all of them, but a good amount of them, have been consistently climbing. The view count will shift during different times of my my shorts coming out, and some of them will do really, really crappy. Some of them do good. Stop there and just, that's it. This recent video is just crazy, because I have the hair, I have the stuff in my hair, and then on top of that, I added more unintentional comment magnets. And that was just me talking. I referred to 45 Colt as 45 Long Colt. And that must have really irked a lot of people. It's like calling a, a magazine a clip. If I call a magazine a clip, I'm probably going to get a ton of comments. It's not a clip. It's a magazine. This guy doesn't even know terminology. This guy's an idiot. And like I'm saying, some of them it's bad, but it's just interactions. I'll, I'll ignore it. I don't take it personal. I, I'm playing this new character. So like I said, I disassociate myself and I'll reply back further boosting some of the interactions just from the replies because maybe people will say something back and or other people will see it and it'll just further get conversations going and just boost things and i think that's all that youtube cares about when it's looking at these shorts it's going watch time how much did they watch of it how many people actually stayed for the video or just swiped away how many likes does it have per view ratio how many comments does it have and he's just taking that and saying yes keep boosting it and then as it further goes into the the feed it just keeps getting exponentially greater and greater in volume of suggestions my my shorts will continually be put into the feed because like i was saying sometimes they will just flat out completely stop unless people are navigating through your channel and like going through the shorts i don't think it has much of a chance you need people to keep going through your feed but you also need people to go through your actual channel to, to find older videos and hopefully that launches them back into the feed. So I had the misnomer of calling 45 Colt, 45 Long Colt. But to be fair, when I look online and search, like I understand what these people are saying. When I go online and search, it'll be 45 and it'll have long in parentheses or it'll have 45 LC in parentheses, or it'll flat out just call it 45, then long cult. So technically, I am calling it the right thing, but people are so anal retentive, they have to correct me. Topping everything off with the comment magnets, I was using cowboy loads 
Shout out, Shireen. <laughs> Thank you for that. And I had no idea what they were. And then to add insult to injury, the cowboy loads that I got, the box of ammo has no data on it. It just says 200 grains. It gives me a lead warning, and then it gives me uh, a safety warning, and that's it. It doesn't even have a brand name on it. That's how vague this stuff is. So I went into it unintentionally knowing what was going to happen. Obviously, I know the gun's not going to explode. It's a modern revolver. This thing can take 45 plus P, which I do have now, and these things are six times, six to seven times the power of this cowboy load, which is a glorified... 22 LR in, in foot-pound energy. Pretty pathetic. But all these things combined, just, it made a storm of success for the video. And if I can incorporate that into further videos, like I was thinking of in my hair, instead of just having unintentional food mess in there or whatnot, I could put in, like, used shotgun shells or something and just stick them in there, or like a box of ammo, something ridiculous. And it's going to get people interacting. It's going to be funny for me. Plus, as a result of all of that, it just boosts the video. Gets me subscribers, gets me views. Makes me money, honestly. I already paid off that 45 long colt from that video. My perspective on shorts has completely changed now after that video. It feels kind of embarrassing doing this for, for I guess, what it's been, 9 or 10 months? of shorts and then finally grasping what is going on so with all these comment magnets and whatnot I can form little mini skits which is basically what I'm already doing I just didn't look at it that way these shorts are just little snippets of something so if I can make them into skits I created a Bob Ross of guns character I, I have my own little mini shorts show kind of I guess Looking at it that way, I feel like if other people incorporate little tiny bits and pieces, like say for Painted Prepper, I've noticed in a couple of comments and on his shorts, people love that accent. So there's definitely a lot of opportunities there to, to go in different paths. And while you're still doing your intended purpose, I'm just shooting. I'm having fun. But I can have fun while adding a little bit extra and the effort is mostly just thinking of what you want to do, getting the idea, and then just doing it. So I can make... This is crazy to me, because that video took me a minute of shooting, two minutes of editing, and then I'd say ten minutes overall, uploading it, transferring the files, everything involved, ten minutes. And within... Two weeks of the video so far, I already paid off my long colt. Or colt. Colt. 45 colt, sorry. Oh my god. That's going to drive me nuts now. It, it's just crazy to me. The, the amount of time that goes into that short. I was just trying to test out a round. So I didn't really think of anything of the video. I just wanted to test out the round. I'm thinking it's going to be decently powerful. Not like a 22 LR. And it was just a recipe for success. Well, some of that is directed against me from the comments, but doesn't really bother me. Because once you get past that threshold and you're actually able to make money here, for 10 minutes of my time, two weeks later, that video has already paid off the 45 Colt. Plus, it's made me money on top of that. And then, the sky's the limit, pretty much. I don't know how... Or how long that video is going to last with the boost. With the way it's going right now, it's... I could probably get... 5 to 10 million views off that. It'll be interesting to see. But to think that it took me 10 minutes and it could make... You know... A grand off of a 10 minute video. And it cost... It did cost $65 in ammo. But to be fair... I've only shot like 10 rounds or like 7 rounds. So if you break that down, it cost me like $10 in ammo. But I've already made 10 fold of that back in 2 weeks. And I'd, I'd love to honestly see a bunch of more people make money off of YouTube. Doing things on YouTube that YouTube doesn't want on YouTube, if that makes sense. So if we can get more people here having fun, 
shooting stuff or if you're into other things too that youtube doesn't like or if you're just here to have fun and whatnot and grow that's also good too but to put it in their face as well that's just a bonus in my in my book so i want to see other people try and insert some other things get creative do little think of it i'm think of your shorts as skits and let's see where we can go from there if your style isn't getting you the viewership that you're aiming for, my best suggestion would just to be change up your style a little bit. Add some new things to it. Add variety. Add the comment magnets to it. Whatever way you can, try and add them in. And let's see, let's evaluate what happens after that. Because in this past month, from October, it has just been crazy. And I haven't really been doing anything different other than putting on a wig, making myself into a character, and then all these other people are just associating whatever they want, be it good or bad, with my video. So I will gladly accept the interaction, the promotion that they're going to give me from YouTube and the algorithm, the feed and whatnot. I just want to see more people be able to, you know, increase their viewership if they can. And I think that with this little idea is getting, just thinking about it just a little bit more and adding in what you can. Now that I caught on to what's really going on, embarrassing enough, it took me this long to figure that out with doing it, you know, every single day. <laughs> so enjoy my embarrassment here, but I want to pass my knowledge on at least my findings, I guess, whether or not they stay consistent. I'll keep you informed, but just other videos right now are just everything's up right now just everything's up so I want to kind of reflect that back on other people if I can so hopefully this gives some people some ideas and motivation and whatnot to keep going okay all right